They're, they're like cars where, you know, different generations have different styles and preferences. So like this, I call it a low rider, this low cantle seat here. This was a, a rosy, rodeo prize saddle, so it's extra fancy. Where this is just a regular working saddle, and this is just a regular working saddle. But to me, they're, they're forms of art where you can see the carving and the stamping in them is really something. So they're just, and these are, those are 90 years old. These are probably 100 years old. Picture This was Garcia's Elko star pattern. And when the highway landscape architect was redesigning the highway at the landscaping, when they're putting in landscaping for NDOT, over at the Mountain City Idaho Street intersection, he decided to make that a Western theme to it. And the Elko Star is featured there in the spur bands and the bits on that piece of metal right there by Elko, by the granite slabs that are on display for Elko cabinet. So that's a cool thing. The Elko Star was kind of his signature. This is what the building looked like. And they wanted it to, they, the, the people at Envy Energy, wanted it to be restored the way it looked when Garcia's were here. They knew the legacy of the building. So they, we, that was the most recent picture of the old building from the 30s. You can tell it's the 30s from the cars. So we just have a lot of stuff in here. We have this really cool, let me demonstrate this. Can I help you or you're just happily browsing? Browse, browse away. So look at this. Lydia, you'll love this. This came off a ranch over by the Lamoille Church. And it is an Edison phonograph. It's from 1917, and Edison's were guaranteed their needles for life, and they were serious because it's the only needle the machines ever had. And you'll know this tune. Once Indians began, the Shoshone people, the Nui, N-E-W-E, -E, began living in reservation communities. They, a lot of them became cowboys, but they had this knowledge and talent, it is a deep talent, of making baskets. They didn't need cooking baskets for cooking in anymore, so they shifted to making baskets for sale as, well, some were laundry basket. Most of them, people were collecting baskets at the time. So some of these, this one is 100 years, at least 100 years old. It belonged to my great, great grandma. And they're just little collectible items that are beautiful functional jewelry.